How is everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. First thing is first, we're gonna go grab some breakfast with the crew to reconnect, gossip, spill the tea. Hello, sir. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Look at this fall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. That looks juicy. And action! Let me just show you how big this stencil is. Hey, Chepe, come here. Let me, let me use you as a model. So this is how big it is. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm gonna, still gonna use this size, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> so last week I introduced a new segment to my videos where I asked artists to tell me a funny or unique story that happened to them during a tattoo session. So this week I'm featuring Xavier Price. Tell us your story. Roll the clip. What's up guys, my name is Xavier Price. I'm a professional tattoo artist at Dark Horse Tattoo Company in Gilbert, Arizona. And I specialize in black and gray realism. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story about the time a girl popped an O in my tattoo chair. So, I was like my third or fourth year tattooing. I was tattooing in Tempe, Arizona at the time. She brings her friend, she brings her husband. Um, she leaves her husband outside of the tattoo room. She brings her friend back there. We start tattooing her, and her friend starts pulling out a camcorder, starts recording the tattoo process or whatever. And I'm assuming, you know, most clients, they wanna do that, they wanna keep something memorable or whatever. So, I'm cool with that, she's filming, but all of a sudden I'm working and I start hearing little noises or whatever. She starts moaning out of nowhere and I'm like, okay, so what's going on here? Cause I'm not tattooing any erogenous zones or anything like that. I was tattooing her arm and sure enough, we finished the little tattoo. She gets up out of the chair and there's this huge puddle sitting on the seat of the chair. Like she just dropped the wet one. Awkward enough, I don't say anything to her. I, I get up, you know, I say, you know, the usual aftercare, all the stuff they usually say to a client. And she gives me my tip. Instead of handing it to me, she takes it, she puts it in my back pocket, she squeezes my ass, and she grabs my ass, and then walks out of the room to where her husband's waiting for her on the other side. I'm pretty sure she was like a cam girl or something like that. And she probably did it for views or whatever. This was way before OnlyFans and all that other crap. But that's pretty much my story. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, I know it was a little raunchy, but it's real life. That's what happened. Shout out to the boy, Mr. Reyes, for, you know, featuring me on the channel today. And, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you. That, that, that was a story. That was a really unique story. <laughs> but thank you for telling us your story. I really appreciate it. Keep doing your thing. Instagram and YouTube. Follow him. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> so this fool comes in with the cooler. Haven't had a client done that, so that was new. This fool came prepared. Let me see what you got in there. You know, just some beer, just in case take a break. I'm just prepared for everything, man. I just prepared, I had a snack just in case, you know, you took a break, you know, some artists are not generous like you and offered me a, a meal. Today's project, we're gonna be covering up this tattoo right here. It was my first tattoo ever, and I just really wanted to get something, and I wanted to get a Virgin Mary, because my last name's Santa Maria. So, the, this tattoo is a little scarred. You can feel every single line, especially on the hands right here. 
They were, <laughs> they were stabbing you, bro. Nobody wants to touch it either. My brother got out of prison and one of his friends um, came out of jail and he had some nice work done on him, but somehow he virtued my chest. So I'm gonna put on this stencil, just go at it. Just go at it, don't even think about it. I want the nipple to land right here. Bro. Right here. Cause we're gonna black it out, right? I mean, I'm already there. I can't, I can't have a partially dotted nipple. So even though that tattoo was really scarred and dark, he got it done about 15 years ago. So that means that the ink is weak and it's not gonna overpower my true gray, my true, my true grace, which works to my advantage. I got this piece of shit tattoo on my chest and it's just like no matter what you got, there's like a center of attention as soon as like I take my shirt off. For this project, I'm gonna be using two needles. My first needle is gonna be my 14 round liner which I'm gonna be using throughout the whole entire skull to create texture. My second needle is gonna be my 27 Curve Mag to do the background. At first I was gonna be scared because we were doing a lot of key points like my ribs, center chest, nipple, collarbone, shoulder blade. I was like, F I first I thought there was a 27 that hurt more, but afterwards I could tell that the 14 round was just the one that was doing the lines. And then I was just like, oh, okay, that's the one that gets you right into Bingham, right? First, I'm gonna be applying my solid black ink, then my medium gray tone, and finish it off with my lightest gray tone to make the shades even brighter. It is time to black out this nipple. They made me feel braver. They're like, oh, you're a brave soul. You're one of the brave souls. I was like, I didn't know I was supposed to be brave to do this. And if you're watching at home and you cringe, drop a comment. And if you don't cringe, you're a psychopath. This is how it looks when I apply my first layer, which is my darkest tone, before I add my true grays. I'm running my machine at 5.0 and this technique is going to be applied throughout the whole entire session. After a long and painful day, it's time for me to apply the Basicane so I can numb his skin and apply my white highlights. But it does burn for 30 seconds and I'm sure his nipple is on fire. I felt like I was an acne mother character with my ass on fire just running around, just ready to explode. I was like, Fuck. that hurt way, way more than the nipple. But it was worth it. It's worth it. Worth it. Dude, I know it was gonna be a tough project because I knew there were some thick ass lines and 
every tattoo artist that I've asked in Arizona, even online, on Instagram, whatever, no one wants to touch it. Everybody tells me to get laser sessions and then a couple laser sessions and then hit them up and see if they'll do it. Finally, I found the savage to take on this challenge. Thank you guys for always commenting and dropping a like on my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a comment because I'm going to be choosing one of you to sell you some money so you can take your family and friends out to eat breakfast or dinner. Last week's winner was Alejandro Avila. Thank you for supporting my channel and I hope, you, I, hope, I, hope, I hope you had a nice meal. If you're a tattoo artist, I hope you found this video useful. And if you're a tattoo enthous enthusiast, how do you say enthusiast? Yeah, enthusiast? Yeah. I hope you were entertained. <laughs> Thank you again and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.